carp camping o'clock, car carp camping, and a little bit of fishing, trying to catch those elusive carpus interrupters. So I'm here to preach in Quiet Lake with Hundyavel. His name's Hundyavel. Yeah, if you don't know what Hundyavel means, Google Translate. It is Swedish. Hundyavel. That's his name anyway. Anyway. I've got to get my gear out because it's Friday night guys and it's 16 o'clock. Well it's gone 16 o'clock. It's gonna be dark soon, so I've got to put the car camp camping fishing cap. Yeah, this thing anyway, it's gonna be dark in a minute. So I'm gonna get my shit together, yeah, and close that door because last weekend I was up here. I uh, I left the door open with the lights on and the battery was dead. Yeah. So I'm going to get that out, get that up, and then we'll come back to some carp fishing stuff. Top bomber. Come on, hundy evil. DD tarp, three and a half by 2.4, or 2.4 by three and a half meters. Yeah. And hopefully I'll get it in here with these uh, big chunks of sandstone. Hope my calculations are right. Because if they're not, I'm going to look at that bell end, aren't I? So that's the boudoir set up. So now I was thinking of putting my bed there, not a bed chair, just a cheap folding camp bed. And sleep on there and have my table there, do my cooking and the rigs and stuff. But yeah, I want to sleep in the battle bus. So I better get my rods out because it is now half past 16 o'clock. So it's time to get the old rods out. I've brought two 13 foot rods. One's out in Sweden, and uh, just a couple of delts. So basically, everything's in a rucksack and a rod bag. That's it. Unlucky mat, and 
I didn't bring my landing net. Upstairs for thinking, downstairs for dancing. Didn't bring my landing net. Because I won't need it. But better to have it and not need it. Yeah, and need it and not have it. I brought one anyway. So before I get my rods out, I better just keep my eye on my gear because here comes Digger Dan, a wrecking man. You know what he likes? He likes trampling 800 quid bivvies in his digger and trashing people's tackle. Knocking trees over with excavators into the water while you're still fishing. Get in my way. <laughs> <laughs> so rule number one, if Digger Dan, the wrecking man, is on the prowl, don't get in his way. It's that simple. So if you're in your way, it's your own fault. Right, so rod set up, haven't cast out yet, gonna put some rigs on. That was wonky. Gonna put some rigs on, gonna put some baits on, and then we'll cast out for the evening, and then we can turtle about in the boudoir. Right chaps and chapesses, and wrongdons and weirdos. Yeah, right, I've uh, went to the tackle shop today. It was funny, I was working in Shrewsbury and then I saw a big tackle shop out of the classroom window like that. I'm going, big tackle shop there, I better get some bait for when I go fishing this weekend. So I've got a bit of pellet. I've actually bought a tin of hemp seed. I thought, sod it, yeah, yeah, I pushed the boat out. Bit of sweet corn out of the garage, it's, it's 14 years past its sell by date. And some coconut smaskins, which is. Sweet coconut method mix for big carp. So back to catch some it now. I've got some bait booster sonu baits, pineapple and coconut, and another squeezy bit of super strength coconut. So we're going down the uh, we're going down the fruity and the fucking lights gone out. The fruity avenue today. So I'm gonna set some rigs up. I'm gonna put pop-ups on tonight. Yeah, not big ones. Only small ones, or maybe even wafters, and fish with that tonight because I need to get my rods out soon. It's pitch black, I'm not going to be able to see where they're going. And so, I'm going to make up a little bit of a mix. So I've got a Dutch Army folding bowl that I wash my testicles in when I'm out bushcrafting. Yeah, because they're just about fitting there. Let's turn the light on so you can see, guys. You want to see my testicle bowl, you see. So I've got two actually, one for each knacker, and I plop one in there, a bit of warm water, because you put cold water in it and, and, and flop your love spuds into it, 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 you get quite startled. Okay, so I lay them out, fill them with lukewarm water, tepid, tepid water, and dump me nuts in them, yeah, to give them a good scrub, okay, but I'm going to use it for bait today, okay, so I'm going to... Knock this little stick mix up, sort of thing, and then pack some PVA bags, top some rids up, put some bait on, and then hunk them out to the horizon. How's that grab you? Super. Right, quick for light goes out. Right, so let's make a bit of it. Well, it's a bit of it's a coconut mix, really, isn't it? That's what it is. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make quite a bit. I probably won't use it all, but then I'm going to vacuum seal it. Yeah, in portions and stick it in freezer and then I've got some for when I come out, if I come out for a swift overnight I like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, let's get a bit of this into the uh, testicle cleaning station, yeah, without trying to get it all over the floor. Oh, it's going everywhere. Okay, it's like baking a cake, isn't it? But we're not. Right, there's enough of that. That can go down there for now. Make sure we don't leave that there. They've been on left in the morning. Yeah, let's put a bit of marine halibut pellets in. Four mil. Four millimetres. We'll stick a couple of them in. Let's put them down out of the way because they've not been used. We'll give that a bit of a... Hey, light's gone out. We'll give that a bit of a funky stir. And I'll have some more ingredients, guys. But the light's gone out, so let's put it back on, shall we? Just for a giggle. There we go. And it kills the battery light, but... So... Let's put that on as well. I might be able to see what I'm doing. There we go. Oh, there's chunks of maize in that. Chunks of maize in that coconut jobby. Okay, because that's certainly not come out of the pack of pellets. Okie dokie. So, what we'll do is... I'm going to put the old tin in of my uh, emp. ok 
because you can't reseal it in anyway. That can go down there in the gas bag. We'll give that a good mix in. There's a bit of juice in there as well. Get your snout out, hundy evil. Yeah, this is for the fish, not you. You've had sausages. Yeah, you've had Polish cabanossi. So we'll give that a mix. We'll get this. I'll try and get the sweet corn in without the juice because I don't really want any more juice in there. But it's coming out anyway because I made a right cake and ass party of it. Yeah, and I know the light's gone out. I'll have to turn it on for good in a minute. We'll give that a quick shuffle. So we're making a nice little cheeky stick mix here, and then we're going to put some flavourings in it. So what we'll do, we'll just uh, mix that in and just let it soak up. Let that ground bait method mix soak it up. Can you see me? Can you see me now? I'm shining that in your face, and I don't know why I had it on. You see? Yeah, because I'm a cock one mug. Right, so we'll mix that up. Well, it's soaking, and then we'll have some flavourings. We'll turn the light back on now, so you can see. So, I pushed the boat out and paid fucking eight ninety nine nine quid for a, a... But funnily enough, the funny thing was, I like them tubs, they're solid. So I'm going to use them for other things like wild camping and bushcraft and things like that, them tubs. So, if you went and bought the tub on its Jack Jones, you'd probably pay a fiver for that. So I'm looking at four quid for what's in it. Happy days. Yeah, that justifies me paying nine quid for a tin of love juice. And then I've got some super strength coconut. And I've even got a few dibble dabble spray thingies that I found in my bag. Nutribates Wonder Fruit, Manila, and Man oh, I've got two Manilas. One black, one white, look. One black, one white. See, we're inclusive. Yeah, yeah, see, inclusivity. Diversity is our greatest strength, isn't it? Now the light's gone out. Right, I'm going to get this mix, guys. Yeah, and then add a bit of flavour in, and then we can make up a couple of stick mixes, I think. I think I might bung all that. Sod it. Get in there. It'll all turn all right in the end, guys, I promise you. Yeah. It looks like my breakfast from the 70s, this. Yeah. Used to get all sorts of shit in the 70s. It didn't matter as long as it was food. Get it down your giggity neck and then piss off to school. Yeah, so it's like sweet corn and ready break. Yeah, and if you're really lucky, you, you, you got a Mars bar stuck in the top. So it looked dead posh. Yeah. Right. So all the hemp juice, sweet corn juice, just soaking in there. We'll leave that for a minute. And then we'll put some of the flavourings in. Yeah, coconut, pineapple, pineapple, coconut. Double concentrate and super XL super strength. Competition liquid. All oh, right, well, it's not going to work because we're not in a competition, are we? Oh, well, never mind. Yeah. And then we'll think about rigging up. It's pitch black out there now. So it's chucking open it. So again, uh, with this, it's only, I'm not dumping big balls of it in, I'm just putting a little PVA bag on and boom, that's it, fish for the bite, it is winter, light's gone out again, what a load of bollocks in it, yeah, and uh, we uh, fish for a bite, but we're not going to get any bites, we'll just do the fish bit, yeah, uh, you're not having any more sausages, you thieving bastard, so we'll put in a bit of this funky coconut, pellet and ground bait in hand, so let me have a whiff of that, Super strength, Ooh, smell very strong to me. But like these bottles, you pop the top, and then if you go wild camping and stuff like that, you can put methylated spirits in them or uh, paraffin, stuff like that. And now my phone's ringing. We'll give that a bit of a mix. Let that soak in. Oh, yeah, that's my mixing stick. Right, let's have a, a bit of Ali Smaskins. Pineapple and coconut, PVA friendly. These, these great, these Nalgene's. 
tight as well. We're good solid bottles. I put quite a bit in there because we're going to let it mix in. Oh, that is funky. And then we might put some more ground bait in there because it is going in PVA bags so it doesn't matter how thick it is really but it'll just open up on the bottom anyway happy days we're on a winner I might need something else to stir it with actually because it looks like I've had that up my clay pipe done it looks like you've wiped your clacker valve and gone through paper doesn't it oh yeah let's wreck the place Right, I want to give that a good stir. Yeah, we'll get a get some get one bit of stick. Let's go and find a stick to do some stirring. That's what we'll do. Right, so I've got a uh, a wafter out. I think it's peach and pepper, and I'll just knock up a little nano mesh stick mix out of our funky gunk down there. We'll make a few of them up. Yeah, five or six. Then we've got some for later on, just in case. And then we'll knock some more up tomorrow. It'll have all soaked in by then. Oh, yeah, there should be enough there. Happy days. Right, so we'll get them done. Let me drop it all over the floor. Yeah, like that. And bring all the rats in. So... Little cheeky ones like that. And put the light back on because we're just about to see stuff like that. So we're looking at stuff, turning the light off. Yep. And it's getting cold now. So my hands aren't working properly. Look at that spastic here, don't I? There we go, little tiny stick mixes. Just cook them on and lob them out. I'm not going big chunky ones on because, yeah, they're only two and a quarter pound, them rods. Yeah. So, I'm not putting big stick mixes on and big leads. It's a two ounce lead, if that. Little stick mix. But I'll show you that in a minute. Right, let's get a few of these knocked up, guys, girls, ladies, yeah, whatever you want to call yourselves, yeah. Don't want to be misgendering you, do I? Hey? Don't want to call you a. An Apache attack helicopter by mistake. Fucking lights do me nothing. Right, so I've rigged up. Uh, there's a... Uh, can't remember what they're called. Wafters and a pop-up on there. Obviously weighted down. One's coconut cream, one's peach and pepper. But I've sprayed them with a bit of uh, fruity spray. And uh, vanilla. And I've got the old... How's your father's, if we can see them? Yeah, I'll tell you what, let's put the light on for a laugh. There you go. So, that's a little stick mix. There's one. There's the other. These are quite big ones, actually. I uh, miscalculated the ingredients of these. Yeah, so I'm just going to lob these out. It's bang and wang tonight. Towards the uh, sandbar sort of thing. And then we'll leave them out there. And, uh, see if we can, uh, Catch ourselves a fish. If not a carp, a nice big juicy tench will do me. A nice big Judy. Come on, hundy evil. Yeah, get back in the car. We'll chuck right hand rod first. That is the pop up, the coconut. 15 mil. We'll have a look in the morning if he's still on. I can't be arsed now. I need to get my dinner on. Get 
Right, let's check out right hand rod with the wafter. We'll have a look at rigs in the morning. And of course we've got a bit of a bit of a fancy rig going on there. The other one's just a bog standard air rig. Let's check this out then. Out towards the lily pads that aren't up. Because it's winter and they're dead. Bottom pretty quick, though, so I think that is on the sandbar. That soon went slack, that did. But we'll leave it there, see how it goes. You never know. <coughs> Screaming Delkins! There we go, I've got bait runners, I have uh, bog standard bait runners on there. I like them, preferably actually. Right, we're all rigged up guys, we're ready to rock and roll. Gonna get me landing net out, aren't I? Getting a beep on the left hand rod here already. Gonna be out in five minutes. So I'm having a go at that. Having a toodle, isn't it? A bit of a tinkle going on. Oh, the indicator move there. It's going again. I can see it. Drop back. Going again. Might be a shark. Going again. It's not setting the alarms off, but it's nudging, dropping back, going up, dropping back, but not setting the alarms off. Hmm. So that rod never went off again, so don't know what that was. Didn't go beep, so it's time to get some scoff on now. I'm having corn dog, home bargains, potatoes, proper carpers scoffed that. Proper everything outdoors scoff and some nice chopped onions by romantic hurricane lamp, paraffin lamp, and I don't mean a tramp, I mean a real hurricane lamp, paraffin lamp. Right, let's get the corn dog chopped. Corn dog, can you not knock it? Oh, I've dropped some on the floor. You know that's not going to waste. Getting cold out here now. And we're cooking on the old Swedish army issue trangia, trangia, whatever you want to call it. In Sweden it's pronounced trangia. Over there it's trangia. So I lived in Sweden. So of course, light's gone out. That's why I say trangia, 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 not trangia. I'm going to have a full tin. You know why? That's right. I'm a fat bastard.
There's that bit on the floor down there. There it is. There it is. Oh. Bit of ground herbs on that, not to be sniffed at. That could be classed as foraging. When you drop food in the shit, yeah, you, you're foraging, aren't you? Because some of the uh, undergrowth is usually stuck to it. Can't beat these on bargains, potatoes, lads, I tell you. And ladies, and tossers. Look at that, that is a corned beef fashion half on the bank. Not even ready yet. We're gonna have to find some spices, aren't I? Chuck a bit of screaming Delcy's, Delca, I can't even say it because I'm spastic. Screaming Delkim's all made spices for on the bank. I do little pots, my own secret mix, lads. And uh, 189 quid a little bottle it is, lads, but it's top of the range. Yeah. Ah, oh, bollocks. I can't find my Screaming Delkim Smaskins uh, homemade uh, spice mix. I'm going to have to root in here because I know there's some hanging about in these pots. Oh, there we go. There's a bit of Swedish grill critter. Oh, yes. Oh, we don't want big chunky pieces. That just wouldn't be cricket. A bit salty, that, so let's not kick the arse out of it. Oh, a bit of pepper. A bit of pepper. Oh, I've got a pepper on it. There we go. And I'm sure some garlic in here as well. Oh, yes, G's for garlic. Not gormless. Bit of garlic. We'll get that all mixed in. That is a proper carping scoff. And I'll probably burn it. So, snooze out, food in. Oh. Oh, that'll be the ticket for tonight. Mmm, I'm going to turn it into poo. Mmm. I'm going to be bush bath pants on, so that's rooting for a spoon. Mmm, I used to have my diggers in my side pocket. Not tonight. Mmm. I love this. Let the light go out. Put kettle on, eh? Because Brocky will be up in a minute, not fishing. He's finally stuck his hand in his pocket and bought a screaming Delkin's hoodie. <laughs> Tight bastard. It's from Warrington, you see. Right penny pinching bastard he is. He goes on for a poo. Right, get here early in the fucking morning. Stop swearing, this is for family viewing. It's Nesbit. It's Nesbit and Top Rod. And you see how Top Rod's got his screaming Delkim's hoodie on? So if you want one, you can buy one. Brocky's coming up for his. Where's yours? Uh, I've not got it on. You haven't got it on? Not you fishing. waste there. You're going for a swim, you are. <laughs> I'm going tomorrow. <laughs> He's just quite surprised he hasn't turned up in his fucking string vest. Away he goes. No, not yet. What have you got? T-shirt on. When you do? Hey. <laughs> Twins. <laughs> well, you got your Aldi shit catches on, mate. <laughs> oh, so are you fishing or what? Not tonight. Not, not tonight. tonight. You coming tomorrow? Tomorrow. Come tomorrow now. We'll tomorrow. Come. Oh, they're coming tomorrow. Would have been here tonight. You know what these monkeys said? They said well, we've we, Muppets said the pond were frozen. Yeah, we've come round this afternoon and frozen solid. It wasn't frozen solid, lads, was it? Because we have been 
casting out and doing some good stuff. Yeah, look at my in there in shadows. Look in Nesbit, it's up, Rod. <laughs> yeah, and the battery's gone. Right, I'm gonna have to put this bastard on charge. See you in a bit, kids. So the Broxter's pitched up for his hoodie. He's actually fucking, fucking finally right put his <laughs> hand in his pocket for some pennies. <laughs> he had me ride off. <laughs> Sight ass Warrington <laughs> bastard he is. Yeah. How many rupees do I owe you? Yeah, 300. <laughs> <laughs> Shekels. So if you want a screaming Delkin's hoodie, lads, 30 sobs. Top bomber. Right, I'm off. Mm. Right, see you later, Brockster. Might see you tomorrow for some noddy fishing. Yeah, if not, mate, it'll be Sunday morning. Roger that. Alright, well, I'll let you know tomorrow anyway. See you later, boys, if you're on the bank. See, see you, you later, later, mate. Did you interesting? No, not really. It's just my man. Thanks, Bitvaldi, fools and horses now and then get some quality nut down. Can see you in the morning. Not bomber. No, I didn't mean being in your mother's company was boring because she's not a boring person. I know what you mean. <laughs> Morning nut sacks. <sighs> not had a bite all all night. Not had a two, not a beep, nothing, which is not surprising really, is it? But doesn't matter because that means you get a good night kip, doesn't it? That is the plus point, that is the beauty of a lake with no fish is you get a good night's kip. So, I had to get up and go for a man piss because, yeah, my bladder was huge. It was, yeah. I looked back, I looked, my bladder was that big, I looked like one of the big fat skanks off Benefit Street. You know, sit there stuffing the fucking face with pizza and kebabs all day. Watching fucking telly, yeah, and 18 fucking kids. They're all different fucking colours. Yeah. Right. I'm going to get up in a minute. I'm going to get the kettle on. But in the first time, I'm, I'm, I'm having... I can't even speak. It's dribbling out of my mouth. My right wind the liquor on. I nom, nom, nom. Beach Melba. Mm. I'm having a Aldi marathon rip-off. So I'll see you in a minute, kids. My arse is hanging out the back of the dust bag and it's cold. I'm going to have another half hour. I'll see you in a minute. Ugh. I've got no wood on this. Oh, yes, I have. I have got another. I could have had that up all night. What a dickhead. Hmm. Hmm. Could have had that up all night. Oh, bong. I'll have that in a minute. Wait, wait so it's sea frosts. Yeah, defrost it. Right. You little gang of lady boys, let's get the brew on. There's water already in there, because I actually, actually filled it up. Last night for a brew with the Brockster and uh, Top Rod and Nesbit. But they all pissed off instead. So that leaves me with a pan full of water for my morning brew. Happy days. Let's get that lit. It'll be cold, that meth, so you need to give it a good go over with the flame. Colder it is, the harder it is to light. Tip six, Andy loves spuds. Try not light them in your bivvy and warm your bivvy up. Kick it over. Boom. Nicky Louder. Right, so let's get that on there. That's lit now. <coughs> Good old Swedish mess kit. Lid on. And hang that there. So it doesn't get hot. Because when it gets hot and you pick it up, you're going to burn your throttles. Tip six, Andy loves buds. Right, brew kit. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to clean my spoon because it's been left out. Yeah. So you never know what's been licking it. 
You never know, dirty rats might have an ad there, Billy. You like window lickers, but they lick your spoon instead. Yeah. So we'll get all the nasty diseases off. One more. Go on. It's a morning brew, isn't it, lads? It's a morning brew. It's the wake me up brew. So you got to make the morning brew your best brew. There we go. We'll size it that a little up in a minute. I'll go in gas bag. Not wiping my face with that, just in case dirty rats have put their chops all over my spoon. And we'll sit back and wait for this bad boil to boil. And pretend to catch some fish. Fish, catching, water, lake, fishing, catching, net, hey, folk, nah, I mean, on that. Ah. Oh, it's top rod. Oh, then. Yeah. It's fucking top rod. You know what I did? As I said earlier, guys and girls, I was making a brew for Broxter last night. So I put two cups of water in my uh, Sangia uh, Billy Pot Swedish Army Go Anywhere All Singing All Dancing Come and Have a Look and make, could, What could have what I can't even fucking say that because we just got out of bed. Anyway, top rods turned up, so I put it on and I thought I'm wasting fuel there boiling two cups of water. And I thought, sod it, it's on the boil now. Then he turns up, so. He's borrowing the guest mug. I'll let him help himself to brew kit. And I've even cleaned the rat piss off the spoon. Ah, oh, you don't matter about rat piss. Good for you. There's some milk as well, mate. It's just you keep doing bum trumps. Hey, sure, That's yeah. him. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, best That's check that one. Like... Yeah. Oh, I'm not Have a dab, mate. Have a dab. <laughs> yeah. Oh, best double check that yeah. one. <sighs> what? What are you gonna do? Oh. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Stick your fingers down the back of your pants, mate. Open your ass cheeks, stick your fingers in, close Chocolate your ass finger. cheeks, close your ass cheeks, and then open it again. And if it feels like you're opening a cheese toaster, you've cacked your pants. <laughs> well, best not check it just yet, then. then. <laughs> oh. Set me up, eh? <laughs> uh, I've got some WD in there, mate. Might need more than WD, clean that one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I've got the comfy soft out. Comfy soft. Yeah, I got caught short on a tactical unload. Yeah. No more signs then from last night. No, not having a beep, mate. Not had a beep. Not had a beep. Tips, tricks, and handy hints when pouring out of this. How are you going to tip water out of that, guys? How are you going to tip water? You can put a pan grab on it, but sometimes it slips. I've learnt that. Get the top. Stick it underneath, pull that back to its number two, and pour it in. Tip sticks, Andy loves spuds. Oh, see that's why you put it back on the second one, because if you get a bit of slippage. There you go. I'll let you stay your own, sir. Cheers, thank you very much. Now, the hardest part of a Trangia Three Crowns Army Mess Kit is putting the bastard out. Well, now I can't even find the top. Where is it? It's here. I've added in it. See, you have to be good at this. Because there's mongs on the internet say you're doing it wrong, you're doing it wrong. Because they're more worried about me burning my hands than I am. Because they're retarded. Yeah, you get your lid, take your rubber seal out, and then you've got to be good here. You've got to get it right on in one movement, like that, and then take it off before it gets up. But don't try that at home, kids, because you spastics will burn yourselves. Right, let's have me brew. Right, I've had me blue. We'll really lose in, see what the state of affairs is. But first thing, guys, of course, we chucked out in the dark last night, so I don't know where they landed. I remember the left hand rod 
as the water, as I hit, the rind just went slack, didn't it? If you remember rightly, that was only a few minutes ago. To me, it was hours ago. Yeah. But so I reckon I'm on the old uh, sandbank there. So we'll have a look where that is. We'll turn the alarms off first because nobody likes a dickhead with alarms on, do we? So that's the rig that's been out guys. Yeah, lead core, usual bollocks in it. Same old, same old. And a little wafter on the bottom. Yeah. And a little PVA bag as you saw. So that's been sat like that, but no joy. Never mind. Let's reel the other one in. Let's see if that's gone. I don't know what that is, I think it's stiff fluorocarbon. Stiff summer anyway. Not me because I'm getting old. Hey! Stop laughing you! Trying to make a serious family room video here, Top Rod. Let's turn the alarm off, eh? Because yeah. nobody likes a dickhead. No, that'll be Mark after that. That'll be fucking Nesbitt. Yeah, there's a bit. Oh, hey, right in the corner of them reeds. Right, that was a good shot, wasn't it? Good spot, that. And that was a very little short rig, bog standard air rig, and just a little bit of uh, whatever they call it. I can't remember the names of stuff because I haven't done fishing for ages. Uh, what do they call it? Braid. Yeah, hook link braid. And that one was popped up. A little bit of creamy coconut. That would have been some of that, but it didn't work either. But we're not expecting to catch carp because we didn't come really to catch fish. We came here to fuck about. Right then, so after I've untangled this, we've done a bit of tangle fishing. Yeah. I've just stick a bit of uh, cream kajouser on there or whatever it is, just give it a quick spray. Same bait, I haven't replaced it. It doesn't matter, once it's got it in his gob, it's foobard, isn't it? So we'll just do a little bit more tangle fishing first, and then we'll think about, we'll think about chucking it out. Oh yeah, yeah. Quick eight seconds of tangle fishing. Didn't catch now. Short the other one out. Right to the baiting station. So just give them little, uh, they're like fox turds, aren't they? Like it's fired out a little mini fudge dragon. I've got some wonder fruit and cream. I've had that quite some years actually, guys. It's new to baits. Look, it's all fancy stuff because it's fancy in a fancy bottle. Go and catch something now. Just give that a quick squirt, give it a good rub, give it a good rub in like that, yeah? Nice little rub in like that. There we go. As you really get it soaking into that mesh, like that, right in the mesh. Like that. Give it a quick toot on the old Joanna. Yeah, that smells good. Don't know if it's out of date. And we'll get the rod, I'll give the bait another quick spray, and then we'll honk that out to the horizon. Well, not so much to the horizon as over there by them reeds. Right, so let's just uh, make that look presentable. There we go. That's had a bit of a two. Let's give that a bit of a two. What I like to do is put the boilie next to the bag because when you spray with these, you lose half of it, don't you? It goes left and right, up and down. And half of your 120 quid bottle of spray from the tackle shop goes 
into the atmosphere where with this when it drips off it you actually get to use it instead of spraying it yeah that's actually quite nice I'm gonna put some of that on my underpants later you stay there right let's chuck this one out into the hot spot it's the hot spot I'm gonna do some tangle fish it's these rods it's these rods these rods these 13 foot rods they've got little diddly ends on so a little bit of three second tangle fish in there guys you see how I professionally untangled that then? Yeah. Just like one of them professionals. You know, like one of them sponsored wankers. Go on up the corner there, let's have that. That'll do me, Professor. Do you remember when fishing comprised of casting out. Now they've all got fucking boats, haven't they? Half of these twats can't cast anymore. You take the boat off and they go, what am I supposed to do now? Look at him nodding his head. <laughs> <laughs> and when I say twats, I mean tackle watchers and tackle surveyors. Twats. Right, let's clip them up, guys. I don't know that's fucking corner at Ireland that's fizzing off there, all up with oh, yeah. fish. Have you spotted fish, Top Rod? Oh, I won't say they were fishing, probably fucking bottom gassing off. Corner at Ireland, there's fucking bubbling away all Is around. it? Well, I'll do that this and I'll have a look. Fucking, oh, I'll wait that settle and then I'll sort it out. Is that a cormorant? I can't see without my gigs on. Uh, cute, that one. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's a fucking big cute. Yeah, definitely on that corner of that island. What's that just come? Something's just trashed me rods. What was it, a swan? It's just done a massive dive over me line. Ah, you? See what I got here? Don't do that again. I bet he's tangled up in it at all. You are, aren't you? No, you're not, you're free. Underneath, underneath. Only that one. That was a beauty of a cast, that one. All. Right, let's sort that out again. Good job I made some more stick bags up. Right, so same again. We'll have to chuck out again. Yeah, this again just got trashed or smashed up by that swan. Yeah. Cheeky little spray. Lob it out. I ain't gonna get that same spot, Lee, I tell you, mate. Oh, I'm too far away. Oh, look. About half a metre off. It is. We'll see it.
nobody likes a dickhead. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! You little bastard! So, Rod, Bernard and Hillary have come to Ball Lake U now. Come fucking torment me. They're coming to give you a bit of grief. No, you don't mind, mate. It's old and gammy and out in a man cave. He's been there for 14 years. You want his top rod stuff? Fresh from the tackle shop. Look at all this fancy gear top rod's got. Do you know what? If your Nesbit turns up with one of these as well, look at this, lads. Look at this. If he turns up with his as well, right, we're going to make a ring and we're going to get these two bivvies fighting. And it's going to be called Clash of the Titans. <coughs> Come on, Top Rod, let's have a look at your rigs, mate. Let's have a look at something different that's not mine. Oh, hey, that's a nice one. Have you, what's that, is that, is that for flossing them? That's there. Uh, that's for flossing the carp, isn't it, if they've got bad teeth? That's for snapping in the ice yesterday when I come on, it wasn't ice stop. That's what it did. So nip, it was ice over yesterday, well, when I turned up, mate. Nip me rig, yesterday morning from 10 o'clock, I was there from about half, 10, 11, till about quarter past two, and it was all iced up here. Was it? Yep. I got in about half three, four o'clock, and it, uh Not even a... Two ounce lead will go through. Bloody hell. Uh, so it's, it's defrosted and melted since then, hasn't well, it, Professor? It's all gone now, so. Happy days. Back out for another try and we shall see what we can do. So that's Top Rod, and Top Rod is called Top Rod because uh, there was a, I think we mentioned it, didn't we? There was a fishing competition here that I didn't make because my roof of my house ended up on the top of my car and I didn't make the competition. No, it was one no, before one that. Before. It was one before that. You got the big common, didn't you? I did got one of the big commons out, yeah. Happy days. We'll put that picture top up rod. now. So that's why Lee is top is, rod. Is top rod. So here's that picture of that fucking brilliant fish out of here. Peace and quiet, Lake. Yeah. yeah. No fish in here, though. No fish in here. Let's have a look. Let's prove them wrong, shall we, top rod? Let's do it. So, I'm going to have a little bit to go for the old tiddlers. Little bit of noddy fishing, if you will. Okay. Well, I've had this donkey's years and all. Yeah. Four ounce tip. I think I changed that back in the day. I bought this in Sweden for a little bit of quiver tipping and chub fishing and things on rivers in winter and what have you. And uh, a very old reel I bought years ago when I was a young man. Shimano, I do like my Shimano, yeah, SSG 3500M, there it is, yeah, it's a match reel actually, so you can't get much, you can't get much line on it, it's not a very deep spool, so, well, you know, I found out when I loaded it with line, cast out, and you know, you've got no line left on your spool, but hey oh, learning by doing, innit, but again, that must have been 20, 20 odd years ago, that, Anyway, so I'm going to get this little set up because I bought some maggots in the tackle shop yesterday. I thought winter maggots, I'll have a little bash at that. And we'll just rig up a little bit of a quiver tip style session. Put it out, we'll have a little bit of dabble with that. Because we've got some ground bait, we can lob over the top. You never know, might get some ropes, might get some perch. Might get tench, might get bream. Might pick up a carp. Yeah, Bob the Log, fishing there. He had kink tail, didn't he? Bob the Log. If you ever remember that video, yeah, a few years ago. Well, we come round and helped him with it because he got it on a pole, signed 16 hook, single maggot, two pound line, something like that. So you never know, guys. You've got to be in it to win it. That is boring, that. It is to win it. We've got to make a new one up. Yeah. You've got to flog it to dog it. No matter. I'll, I'll make some more. Right. Let's get this little bad boy set up then. Right, so knocks up a little quiver tip. 
yeah, style fishing jobby. So we'll have a little dabble for that, it'd be rude not to. Gonna be very slow in winter, it's very slow in summer here as well, funnily enough. So I've just made a, that's out of the real line, I don't know, that must be maybe three, four, five pound line. Size 14, barbless hook. I hate barbless hooks, but that's all I found in my box. Yeah, I found that in the cart box as well. It's the lightest feeder I've got. God knows where I got that. I probably picked it up off the bank knowing me, because I don't buy them. Yeah, and then I've got tied to a ball bearing swivel, because that was the smallest one I had. A little bit of a there for actually in leads them. A little rubber, uh, you know, for inline leads. Goes through the inline lead and your swivel. Pops in the end like that. We're only putting it so far. I'll just put a bit of carp gear on there. With an O-ring. And that is my, yeah, it's probably prone to tangles that like. But never mind, we're only casting out a few times. Yeah, and all that. And we'll just pull that back a bit so that rig can turn. Happy days. Fill that with gunk. The gunk I made last night. Put a couple of maggots on there and see if we can get anything. I'll sit here like a little no mint garden. You know as you do. When you can't catch a carp. Happy days. Should we have a dabble guys? Come on, let's have a dabble. Had a nudge then. So Mickey G's turned up, back catcher, solar powered angler, and Nesbit. And why do we call him Nesbit? Rab C Nesbit, because in the summer when he goes fishing, he sits there like a sweaty old jock, doesn't he? Yeah, in his in his with his dinner medals down it. Yeah, with his pot noodle fucking slapped all over his titties. <laughs> and I've got a pair of British Army gloves that I can't get on because they're size nine. I need to go and do some manual labour. Yeah. Then a bell ringing. Kaplunk! What are you doing, back catcher? Are you spodding? Are you spodding your, your, your sexy mix? You're going to be covered in carnation cream, you are. You're going to stink later. Yeah, 
piss off. Let's have a recast then. It'd be rude not to. Get another bag on. Pop Tommy. Oh, well, there we go. Same old, same old. Just resprayed it. Stuck another bag on. Smash the granny out of it. Cutting up now with him, am I? Oh, who stood on that duck? That was the onions. Right, let us sink a bit and then we'll clip up. If I sold myself. Oh, I think I might have done. Let me better get this file in quick. Here comes Digger down the wrecking man. He's about to wreck summer. Ness's car's yeah. in the way. He ain't going to stop for Ness's car. At least my baby's not in the way. He just stops <laughs> babies, does he? <laughs> yeah. Watch out yeah. for Digger Dan. Some fishing line. The corner one, that, eh? The corner one. No idea. Yeah. yeah. Good one or bad one or what? It's in the fucking tree, so we don't want to do a long run. Let's get this fire lit before Digger Dan wrecks it. I've come down to collect me fucking wood and take it back. <laughs> We've already liberated it, mate. It'll only go off. Then much money around See, and all no I've fishing. decided this is what he does on his videos when he says he's getting his fire going. <laughs> he's there with his fucking fire going like that. And when he, when he cl cuts and he clicks back and it's going, he's got fucking fire like that. There you go, that's how you get it going. Yeah, it's a fire that's how you get the fires going, lads. That's how you get the fires going. I said that to me, she said he's got fire lighters in that. He's saying he's got it going with his fucking Barrel rod. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell them all. It's a trick of the trade. It's called editing. <laughs> he's edited it out where he's got his fire lighter in and his lighter. <laughs> his blow torch. <laughs> now that's the easy way of lighting a fire, lads. Yeah. In Borneo, during the war. Check of the camera. There we go. That's the ticket. I'll be rip rolling. Minute, lads, who's having steak? I've got squirrel, rabbit, rat, pigeon, um, and something else. Can't remember what it's called. 
I was up there, I was going to ask you to bring it down when you went up, but I thought, I better not, you're rolling away, you need some brakes and that, has that been MOT'd? Yeah. So there we were, Digger Dan's come down in his wrecking machine, and we wonder why he's got his wrecking machine. Look, hey, come back with the wood! Come back with the wood for the fire! <laughs> That's our wood! You bastard! <laughs> oh my god, thanks for the wood part. And some dust. Right, you're staying in there because you're not going on that digger and wrecking man you stuff again. Bastards. <laughs> Let me out of here. What I've got for me dinner lads, we've started a real fire, real barbecue we're having up here. I've got a big daddy here, look at that. Shot it in its plastic wrapper and look what he's eating. Cantonese hoisin duck. It's a pot noodle isn't it? No, no, it's duck. It's duck, is it real duck? Is it's it Chinese duck? It's in a minute. It hasn't actually got any duck in it has it? No, there's a duck. Is it? Is it still swimming? No, I think that's duck. Is that duck? That's duck. Is that supposed to be a bit of duck? I think so. There's not much duck in there, is there? Might be a bit of its ass, but it's, it's duck. That's red pepper, that. That's not duck. No way. That's red pepper, Mickey. No, there's duck in here. Mm. Right. It's drowned somewhere. <laughs> it's ducked. <laughs> no, duck. no duck in that. Right, I think I'll have me... Uh, we'll put the lamps up. We'll put the lamps up and have the right barbie fest. I'm going to get that on there. But I'll, get, I'll, get, I'll keep digging down the wrecking man away from the fire. He keeps stoking it up. He's trying to put it out with wood. Well, that, I'm having a big daddy, lads. I don't know about you, but that's pretty bloody hot now. Motor cleave. There we go, right? I can turn that out. I don't need that, do I? I shot this and packaged it last Wednesday. What's going in with this? A few tomatoes, onions. No? Ooh, it's got a sizzle on. Got a little bit of a sizzle on, baby. Where's the mushrooms? I haven't got any, I haven't got any veg. Seasonal vegetation. Well, got some leaves. I'm not a vegetarian. <laughs> Leave them out, man. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to be careful with that, very precarious. Oh, yeah. I'll place it on the side. I think that'll have, what do they call it when they seal one side and turn it over? Sear it. Searing. Searing. It's supposed to be a really, really hot pan and go. Yes, that's it. This will have fucking rat shit on it and everything. But never mind. It's not a vegetarian, but you don't mind eating vegetarian. Is that out of the love up that? Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I had it the other day, I was using it for summer. Well, stop <laughs> pulling poo out of your bum hole with it, were you? Thick it rats up <laughs> <than mine>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just flick it mice that way. Ah well it's done now. Ah mink a found. Feel on Teflon. Oh for God's sake. I'm making a right pig zero. Oh it's his and mine. Seems to be under control now, so everything's under control, Patricio, digger down the wrecking man. Yeah, everything's under control. We haven't got towered in inferno now. What are you having, lads? You're having a pot noodle, aren't you, Mike? I'm having duck. And don't forget, think you on. Lights out and bed, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock? Okay, I'll make sure they're in bed at 10 o'clock, yes. digger Dan. Right. I do. Yeah. Especially him, he likes staying up and causing no, mayhem. No, no. Lights out, 10 o'clock, bed. Lights out, what kind of lights out? Do you mean lights out as in real lights out? Or do you want me to put his, put his <laughs> lights out? I see them there, take them off one by one. <laughs> hey, can I get them? 
Yeah, we don't want to see Christmas lights anymore, so we're going to destroy them ourselves. That's all about that, isn't it? See that, won't it? Yeah, look at it, it looks like a fucking brothel, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, who's the madam over there? <laughs> madam Dolly Bird. She's a madam, isn't she? It's not his bird, it's his madam. <laughs> I reckon, I reckon he's got a nappy on and a dummy in at the moment, gets his ass spanked, isn't it? One of them Terry Towling ones. You know what? It's always surprised me how sound travels across water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They'll be out later to say, are you talking about us? No. <laughs> you tell them the you but, he's, but he's done an excellent I go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Should we get the onion, lad? What? I brought a grunion and the light's gone out. One grunion, steak, and I'm not sharing it because I'm a fat bastard. If you dash down the road, chippies are, you know. Lads <laughs> yeah. are going to the chippy. <laughs> I've got Uber what are you having with your steak? <laughs> grunion. I was going to have some potatoes, but I don't think I could eat it all. The dog's not here to finish it all. <laughs> <laughs> the dog's at home with stomachache. Well, in boxes of things, in. Oh, God. And boxes of stuff in lovely, haven't you? Yeah, I've got I've, I've brought three in the car. Oh, right. Home bargains potatoes, then Patricio. Yeah, yeah. Home bargains potatoes. Food of the gods, then, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Food of the gods, yeah. They've actually got potatoes in. If they have not, actually. Not like your pot noodles, that right? are like yeah. the duck pot noodles. Got like pretend duck in it. Pot noodle here, nice. <laughs> okay, hello. Veg in it. Oh, I dropped a bit. <laughs> Have you found any duck yet? No, it's a vegan one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a vegan. It probably is as well. Yeah. Might as well be. It's a pretend McDonald's plant-based duck. Oh, they look like dog. It's a flash and that means it's open. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For business? Yep. There we go, guys. How does that grab you? And him sat there with a pot noodle. We're going to have to call you Chemical Mike. It's not a pot noodle, it's a... It's a fucking Cantonese hoisting duck. Yeah. It's proper stuff. It's a Chinese rip-off pot noodle. I was going to bring a pot noodle, I don't know, because going to rip the shit out of them. <laughs> <laughs> it is the thing. Well, at least he didn't turn up with a fucking Ridge Monkey jacket on. Chemical Kev oh, never turned up, has he? He hasn't, has he? No. Well, Chemical Kev was supposed to be here this weekend. We could have took the piss out of him. And he's not picked up. I didn't get. A, I bet he didn't get a lift. I reckon his lift let him down. I'm not doing fucking match secretary in this fucking club. Right, match secretary. Match secretary. It is fish recognition time, Neza. So, what is that, mate? Trout. You what? A trout. What have you been smoking? Okay. What's that one? Perch. What's that one? God. Come on! I thought your fish hey. recognition was top notch. It's colour blind. Leave me alone. Yeah, it's, it's red. It's a red fish. <laughs> it's a red fish. It's a gurnard. No, it's a pollock. What's that? Carp. What kind? Common. Common. What's that? Not in here, the nut. Tailfish. <laughs> Tailfish. <laughs> yeah. So that is, is, is half of his tail, isn't it? Yeah. So well, let's get back to this one then. What is it? Red one. I've just told you. Gurnard. It, no, it rhymes with bollock. <laughs> Bollocks. Bollock. <laughs> I think the other light's gone, gone out. Gone okay, out. Del. Give up. There you we go, There's up. my Frank Boff. <laughs> oh. What we're going to have later, lads, is a farting competition, and I've got a funny feeling I'm going to come top. Yep. Oh, I reckon I can beat that. You reckon? Yeah, what with you? I'm not little, surprised with you. Your chemical pot noodles something going in my Your bag. chemical <laughs> pot of noodles. I can't watch you eat that. I'm going to need a fork. Yep. I'm going to need a fucking bib. Come and smell this, Mike. I've got a chin wet in a spastic's chin. <laughs> <laughs> Peach Melba! Um, <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Take me home, I've had enough. We'll find a fork. <laughs> Nessa! So, as soon as your fish recognition was very, uh, wasn't very good, What's this? You ready? <coughs> <coughs> a fork. <coughs> Something to eat with. <coughs> fork off. Oh, God. 
Take him back to his bivvy. <laughs> Who let him out? We've got some more wood on the fire, Mickey. Happy days, you're a good man, you're a good man. Not bad for Cheshire Regiment. Let's rest him to the world. <laughs> Mm, yeah. King's old bum boys. Improvised sir. Hmm. Does anybody want to taste my meat? Not again, mate. <laughs> Not after last weekend, eh, mate? Mm. What's that you got hanging off your head, mate? What Jesus. is this? Is that what, what kind of headlamp's that? Proper ridge monkey. No, nah, I'm gonna sit over there with him and all. Right him. You <laughs> fucking ridge monkey wagglers. I'm sitting over here with my Chinese ripper. Ah! Drop me onions. At least the dog won't eat it. There's no fire in it. There is. Put your face in it and see. <laughs> Looking for love. Oh, that is top bomber that lad. Say, so. I was going to bring some venison. But I couldn't find it. It's at the bottom of the freezer, I think. It's from Sheffield as well. Sheffield Venice. Mm. I'll have to go and see Sheffield Sea and Sheffield Den. For a replant. They're at the venison farm in Sheffield, you see. Yeah. Good two lads there. I always sort me out with a bit of venison to Sheffield Den and Sheffield Sea. Don't you Sheffield Den and Sheffield Sea? You know who you are. Because I know you watch the videos. Bop Summer! Hmm. Fuck's that? I've got to say, that was pretty poor, that man. That is bad. Oh, no, no, I can see flames. Oh, I got it. Yeah, I'm yeah, smoking. Yeah, fucking give it a minute. <laughs> Doing it slowly. Smoking Chris out there. <laughs> Quietly. Yeah, Wait look at a him. couple of years, it'll be alright. You've done a digger down the wrecking man. You're digger, you're digger down the wrecking man's retarded brother, aren't you? I must love to. Just out of that fire. <laughs> you're doing a proper fire now, Mike. I'm trying my best. Oh, yeah. It's just in the fires. I know, yeah. Well, you just smoked everything, didn't you? But if it's a desire to put fingers in the fire, I got your division oven gloves. Ooh, pick a lily shim pads. He's one of the world's leading manufacturers of audio visual equipment and video recorders. And video recorders. Do you want some breakfast, Del? No thanks, Albert. Breakfast is for wimps. We've done only fills and horses. He's selling partridge now. Ah! Right, it's time to get some quality nut down in the gonk bag. Yeah, in the back of the back of bus, and I'm going to get some sleep. Because we're going to be up all night catching carp. Yeah, because we've had about 400 eats tonight. Just didn't bother filming it. Well, I tell a lie. Only fills and horses and Alan Partridge. We're on the fire. It's been emotional. Right. If I don't see you through the night with a carp, I'll see you morning for a man piss. Later, kids. Ooh. Right. One handed and getting in your sleeping bag filming. Don't work. Later. It's time for the morning man piss. And sometimes you've got to be super fast. Yes. Meaning, I haven't got time to hang around here and talk to the camera. I need to get my racing slippers on and sprint over there. Gamble Jackson, then, Chris. Hey? Gamble Jackson. I had a cheeky wank and uh, I did a bit of bird spotting. Yeah. It's too cold for me. When I mean bird spotted, don't mean looking in a swat mag. <laughs> yeah. Do they still do them? Swat mags, yeah. Do they still do fanny mags? Yeah, still do. They do? Yeah. Do they still top self covered in polythene? Do you get a freeze DVD with them? <laughs> yeah. Do you still get one? Emmanuel in Pontifract. No, you get a free go on here, Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's that called? Pornhub. 
Free? Did you say free? Yeah. So, yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven rods out last night. And how many bites did we have? None. 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 So, nobody had a tinkle, which we weren't expecting anything else, let's say. Okie dokie. So we haven't had any rods, no tinkles, but we sat round the Jerry Maguire and we had a bit of banter. <laughs> Didn't we lads? Oh, what's that? Movement. Aren't we my beaters? He's looking for fish. I know. I just try to keep warm. So we had a bit of... We had a... Only fills and horses. And then we had a full series of Alan Partridge. Yeah, and then we all went to bed. Yeah, I jumped in with Mike, tucked him up. We can't have taught him solar powered angler anymore because he's he's been fishing up here all winter. So it'll have to be back catcher. Back catcher! Because when he doesn't catch anything, he stands there with his landing net going like that, looking for bats. Go we'll catch some bats. It looks really strange, and you might think he's a wrong gun. That well, which he is actually, because he's ex Cheshire regiment, you see. So back catcher! Back catcher! Back catcher! Back catcher! That's his name. Yeah. Uh, so apart from that, Mike has kindly made the brew. He hasn't made it strong enough for me, but I will educate him soon. Uh, and he's put no sugar in it. He told me to do myself, but I forgot. Well, I've been down there this morning, sniper Lillian, yeah, looking for breakfast, which I didn't get any, and scared enough a few unwanteds, let's say. So I'm going to put some sugar and more coffee in my brew now. I'll be back in two shakes of my donkey's penis. So, put more coffee in now and a spoon of sugar. I don't know what he's too little about with. He's, got, he's getting some electronic equipment out by the looks of it. Let's see what we could have one. Fishing technology. Yeah. See, well, look at this fishing technology. Yeah. That, loud, that sounds like something that's shouted in a porno, doesn't it? Deeper. <laughs> <laughs> Deeper. Deeper, ah. bat catcher! Rat catcher! Rat catcher! Oh, bat catcher, not rat catcher. He's going to do a bit of spotting, and because it's supposed to be a carp fishing video, we'll have a look at bat catcher's spod mix. Yeah, it's something different, something you lads might want to tackle, something you might want to have a go, and it might bring your catch straight up. Don't follow what we do, though, because you'll never fucking catch now. Yeah, doesn't work, right? Yeah. Well, in fact, if you say... If you say, oh, fucking, I catch fish all the fucking time, mate. These bastards, they, they catch fuck all the fucking useless. They're using all the wrong rigs and all the wrong bait. They've got all the wrong tackle. And, and that fucking bag that's got the fucking cooking stuff in didn't cost 50 quid, so they're not going fucking catch now, Ali. You know what I'm saying? Come on here. I'll give you a week. You can have a solid week. Let's see what you catch. Happy days. Let's have a look at some fishing tackle. Come on. Let's have his mooch down here and see what bat catch has got. So, what's Car that? Carnation milk. Carnation milk. Sweet corn. Sweet corn. And liquidised sweet corn. And liquidised sweet corn. You know what? If you go down Kaylee's Supper Bar downtown, they sell that in little polystyrene mugs for 2 95 Sweet corn soup. That's it. And then what have you stuck it in there now? A mortar bomb. Were you mortars, mate? No, I wasn't good enough. You weren't good enough? You no. weren't in football platoon? No, I wasn't in a football platoon, mate. I was a proper soldier. All right, OK. Wanker! <laughs> he hit the clip then. Nope. Did you see that, lads? He hit the clip. The fact that I wanted to be to the left. All right. <laughs> You're spraying it everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Your chicken and sweet corn soup's going everywhere, mate. I'm fighting for the effect. Missy go mad. Spent 40 quid down that down the Chinese. <laughs> Need to make sure you don't get it in your little clip. So it won't shut. Yeah, don't get it in your little clip, lads, because it won't shut. I bet people wish I'd get some stuck in my mouth. Mike, you just covered me in fucking sweet corn. That wasn't sweet corn, son. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty old man. Make it all a racket. Yeah. 
Who are you talking to in there, mate? Yourself. <laughs> Get more sense out of myself than oh, anybody else, yeah. Yeah. I'm in a quiet taste. Nobody understands me. Nobody understands. Hey, do you know what? That's what I say to people. You want a sensible answer? Talk to yourself. Yeah, that's right, mate. Yeah. In your Nash Titan bivy. Nash Titan. And your NGT tackle box. Come on, you're letting the side yeah. down there. Have you seen price of them Nash ones? They're a rock ripper. Oh, are they? Yeah. They're having your pants down, mate. Yeah. They're pulling your pants. Oh, what a surprise. And they didn't have any tackle shop when I bought that one, so. <laughs> oh, so that's the excuse, is it? That's my excuse. The only yeah. reason I got an NGT one, because they had no Nash ones left. I don't have everything Nash. I've got my Nash hook sharpener. Never leave home without it. Why not? You always need a nice sharp hook. Well, don't real cat fishermen just put a new hook on. I'm a tight cunt. <laughs> <laughs> let's go and see what Nez is doing. Come on, let's see what Nez is up to. Has he got a bit of a step toes yard going on, or has he already packed away? Half packed away, I think he is, but he is a bit of a step toe. Is he? <laughs> yeah. Let's go and have a look at the scruffy twat. <laughs> Neza? Oh, he's packed away! I've already packed away. You already packed away there? Oh. I was coming to see what the state of affairs was, mate. So, packed away till next time. Can't believe you've got a screaming Delkin's hoodie on and a pair of fox pants. That's it, I'm going. Not wrong with that. <laughs> I like being fucking mismatch. <laughs> fucking mismatch with a fucking this bit top on. <laughs> <laughs> the main story, have you had out, mate? No. Oh, look oh, at them. I've got my fucking this bit top on. Look at them bitch tits. <laughs> I'm going to be screaming down his fucking hoodie. <laughs> and his Nezza vest. Yeah. Adapt and overcome, Chris. Adapt and overcome. I was, I, I was just mooching on my way back to my boudoir when I coloured Mike with something that looks rather technical. What's he doing? You're not watching granny porn while you're fishing, are you? Oh, that's the technical device. Gotta do something to keep me in. Yes, that's what they shout in porn films. Nope. Well, I'll tell you what, it looks like me and Backcatcher are stopping, and Top Rod and Nezza are popping smoke. Let's see if we can find some of Let's have a look then. Is there any fish in the vicinity, Backcatcher? No. No? There's no out there? I've been here since Friday, could have sold you that. Nope, not where my bait is. Nothing? How deep is it? 16 foot. empty. It's empty. There's no fish in this lake. They've had our pants down. We're coming up now. And that's just here. Any fish back catcher? No fish. No fish. No fish. Roger that. So what are we doing here then? Camping. Roger that. You off top, Rod? I'm off now. It's been emotional. It's been emotional. It's been, emotional. Huh? It's been 24 hours of ups and downs. And I'm going home on a low. It's going home on a low. As usual. Oh, it's disappointed. No, I'm never disappointed. Eh? Oh, his fudge monkey jacket didn't catch him a car. Oh no! Nope. It's been emotional. It's been emotional. Time. Right, are you off as well, Nez? Yeah. Right. See you later. See you later, later mate. That's all, bud. Yeah.
That's all, folks. He's off. He's off. Oh. Nez is off. He's off to wash his vest, apparently. See you next time. Yeah, it's been emotional. See you later, mate. Right, I'm going to have a recast. Come on, let's have a recast. Right, so I've got a couple of... Uh, made a few up last night, as you do. Oh, little pinky sticking out. Look at that. He's been trying to escape. Yeah, there's a few maggots in there as well. Okay, give it a spray with that. I'm keeping the same bait on, because... Don't matter, does it? I'm going to give it a quick spray, yeah. And then we'll lob out, and that'll be the last lob for today, I think. So... Give that a quick dab. Try to remove any excess water. Have a little bit of a manildo vanildo on here. This actually sprays better. You actually get a spray and not a big mad explosion jet. Oh. Let's chuck that back out. For another hour or two or three. And same again. It's a bit of a better spray here. Actually goes on the bait and not into the atmosphere. Never to be seen again. Smells like fish, but tastes like chicken. And for a second, clip up. We're camping. So back catch is getting kettle on because his, uh, his brew kit equipment is far superior to mine. Mine's a lump of brass and a bit of mess and it takes quite a while for it to boil the kettle. Where this far superior Chinese gear gets it going in uh, about a couple of minutes. A couple of, min couple of couple minutes, of minutes we can have a quick brew instead of waiting around for three and a half days. Yeah, happy days. And he's got a nice little bit of a setup. It's a, I've seen that sort of setup before. It's like the old mate Betty. In it, so Betty of the Shire. I'll come see you soon, mate. In fact, I better ring your hand now. You rung me the other day and I haven't called you back. Sorry, mate. Happy days, what have we got in here? Where'd you keep your palm mags? In the beer box. In the beer box. But, but the beer box is empty, isn't it? Alright. Full HD. My definition monkey. Well, we don't have a boo boo. I think there's a bit of a schoolboy error. Schoolboy error? Yeah. They're usually the best errors. The spoon and stuff's over there and the fire's here. But it's okay. Wait there. Two shakes of a donkey's penis. Ready, set, go!
four for a quid pound shop, latte spoons. Bit gunky, but it'll stir your brew, sir. Stainless steel and also don't rust. What's he doing up there in that micro light or parachute or what what is he doing? That's Brock all looking for fish. Is it Brocky? Is that his new <laughs> fucking fish detection system? You can't see him, we'll get the bastard on the way back. He's up there though. Through the trees. Some some people could mistake him for a pigeon. Yeah. It's Brocky, isn't it? He's come for a mooch. That's his new Christmas present. Right. What are you doing? What are you doing? Apart from ruining the Atmos on a Sunday morning. What we got? Isn't he? He's hiding on the bottom in 15 foot of water apparently according to the carp fishing technology. Some people with no glasses on could mistake them for wood pigeons, I'm telling you. Okily dokily, so but whoop, excuse me. I've done an involuntary man burp. Uh Bat catcher has pulled his rods in and decided for the last half an hour to do a little bit of carp fishing technology work. So what he's been doing is gonna be been plonking that deeper thing yeah. in and around this area. Yeah. And what have we established then, Mickey? There's no fish. There's no fish. There's nothing. Nothing. So, we put two and two together and got a Dianabopotamus 5, 11 purple. So they've got to be down there, haven't they? Or, that's what we think. That's what most people are think. If they're not here, they've got to be down there, haven't they? Because there's nowhere else they can be. So we're going to take a wobble down there, mate. And have a see where they hide. If we can find them. find the hole. Let's go find the plug hole. The plug hole is a 20 foot hole and last time he found it, it was full of fish. So we'll take a mosey on down there and see if we can see where the little blighters are hiding. Come on, we'll set you with us. Right, so I've pulled the rods in. Let's go for the Turner and Ooch. Yeah. 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 Let's have a double then. Are we all ready to go? Have you pushed all the right buttons, back at you? Think so. All the right buttons are pushed, okie dokie. Let's fucking lob it all. It's getting started. It's getting started, right, okie dokie. Not a sausage. It's looking bleak, isn't it? Mm. Well, that's a little bit, yes, empty, barren. That was a splodoosh, that. That was a bit violent, that one, wasn't it? That was a splodoosh. So peg 20, Bob the Log's favourite peg and out there apparently is a 20 foot hole, the plug hole and once when they were up here with the deeper going round in boat they found this hole that's never been found again and it were absolutely rammed with fish according to that technology according to that technology it were rammed with fish that time and then when we've been up in the boat and doing this thing before we could never find it again so apparently it's in the shadow of the old big oak tree on the far bank from peg 20 so we'll have a look here and see what happens 
Well, we've got backhand set. Almost different to the depth. What we at? We're at 13 and a half. 13 and a half. Coming up now to 12. 12. 12. 10. It's like the Bermuda Triangle, this plug hole, I tell you. You can never find it. Apparently it's out there. It's been seen once. The elusive plug hole. What depth we at there, Mickey? 15. 15. Why is it so deep, you ask? It's an old sand quarry. Hmm. No, fish. no fish. No fish. Is it uh, looking dire, yeah. barren? Is this a carp fishing wasteland? It is, mate. Yeah. More of a campsite, would you say, Mickey? Campsite with a nice lake. Campsite with a nice lake. In case you fancied it a bit of a dangle. Hmm? Yes, the Bermuda pl Triangle plug hole. It's very elusive, isn't it? I reckon it was a technological failure that day that just happened to be a 20 foot hole full of fish. Yep. I think it was a technological uh, mishap, gremlins, poltergeists in your technology. I think you just overshoal the fish and it couldn't get the depth properly. Yeah, and I think it just decided to make its own yeah. mind up and dig an hole. Yeah. 20 foot. We're just going past Rabbit Central. As I said, sand quarry. That's why we get a lot of rabbits here, because it's very easier for them to burrow into the sand. There's a prime example there. <laughs> Rabbit Central. There we go, as we can see, fresh burrows, easy identifiable by the big mounds of sound that have been kicked up. I saw a fox hiding in here once, waiting for him to come out. Bunny rabbits, fishing, do some fishing stuff, come on, let's do some fishing stuff, wait for me back catcher, I'm a fat sweaty old man and I can't keep up, bleak, barren, desolate, it's the Sahara Desert on steroids isn't it, nothing, we've got to the corner, We've got the corner, that's our last chance in it. Yeah, or we're going to go up that bank as well. Go up that bank and drop it in the willow there. We're determined to find them. Yeah. Eight foot, seven and a half. So again, six, seven, eight foot in the margins. So we're trying to corner. Sure. This is the carp playground. They like hanging around here. You see them a lot in summer down here. Or basking in the sun on the top, so you do get uh, quite a few anglers coming down here trying to poach a couple, you know. Uh, but this is where they tend to hang out. So if they're going to be anywhere, we reckon they're going to be here or in this area. Not springs to mind. Lord Lucan riding through a Saudi Arabian off license on Shergar. Did the motorway. So here we have some beautiful lakeside properties. Yes, for people with a bit of dollar. So it's going to be sold with a lakeside view. I don't think the marketing scheme or the selling points are going to be, but you'll have to make do with gobby carp anglers laughing all the time, pissing up trees and shitting in buckets.
I'll give it three weeks for the first complaint. Four foot, we're on the sandbar. And what is it registering back to catch up? Too shallow. Too shallow, fantastic. No, no, it doesn't even tell if there's any fish in the water. Hmm, as if you noticed. That's where I've been fishing. Say again? Yeah. Casting skills need some improvement. Just a bit. You haven't got a bait boat, have you, Mickey? Nope. So it can't be that then, can it? <laughs> <laughs> oh. What we got? Oh. There's a fish here, dude. Yeah. Margin? Is this a small, medium, or large? Backcatcher. Hey, there's, there's fish there. Two. There's two here at margin. Three. Here. 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 Whatever it is. There it is. Three. Three fish. They're at margin. Here. Did we find them by chance? Yes. yes. No, no, no. No. We used our skill. Skill. Skill and technology. Let's have a, see if we can get to see that better there. There we go. You can see my fat head in the glass, like. I'm trying to get me fat head out of the glass. So humans at home That's sat on the furlough couch, can see it, there you go, look at that. They look like sharks. Could they be sharks? Let's get me shadow in, who can see them, there you go. That's got all too shallow on us. Yes. Can you see them? Pissed off, aren't they? Better have gone to a gay pub. Slow pack up, guys, and same old, same old. I'll just give it a quick spray. I'm just going to lob in this bay here instead of on bank, just for an hour or two. While I play around with that lot. That's the battle bus starting it up. Good battery's not very healthy on it. And the lights have been coming on all weekend. For the old door opening scenarios. Right, so my little day bag, overnight bag, couple of nights bag, whatever. Yeah. So, carp fishing. Get a phone call, don't you? Yeah. Good fishing weekend, Chris, and you get a phone call on Thursday night, Friday, and you think, oh God, got to pack all my gear for fishing. Take all the shite that's in the car, take all my work stuff out, put all the carp fishing gear in, and you're thinking, by the time I get home from work, I've done that, it's going to be dark, oh, can't be asked. Can't be asked. Yeah. So I've made myself a little bag just a chuck in a cart and a rod bag. Couple of rods has been using this weekend. Lucky dokey. So that's it. I did actually make the tackle box uh, for a little small one for whipping down the canal and what have you. Uh, but now I'll use it as my overnighter. Okay, save taking all the other shot out the big bags and this and that and yeah, all the crap bed chairs because bed's already in there, isn't it? Yeah, but I can only fish these pegs with that. So I'll have a little look of what I've got in my Hong Kong Fui book of Kung Fu Tricks. So the bag is MTP, I think it's 30 litre, I think it's 30 litre, it's not a British Army issue one, it's one of the rip-off combat ones, okay, with 15 quid like, yeah, that was it. 
Okay, but it's not too bad. It's big, thick cordiona, and the zips, zips aren't too shabby on it. Stitching's a bit pants-like. That's gone there, but again, it was second-hand. I didn't buy it brand new. Yeah, so stitching's gone there, but... And the, uh, they're not really designed to take any weight. Yeah, the army issue ones are, because you fill it full of shite, don't you? Okay, so they probably wouldn't last long, the old shoulder straps. Yeah, they've only got a little bit of sewing in there. They'd probably go eventually, but it's not designed. Well, I'm not going to be using it for piling loads of weight in. That's it. And it won't be going far anyway. So, in the top, let's have a look. Right, so in the top. A few bottles of spray. So, you've seen them. Well, that's actually two manila and a Nutribrate's one there. Okay. Some cheap nasty rod rest because I've got a little bit of noddy fishing gear in here as well. Okay, a little selection of hook baits and a couple of little tubs of end tackle bits and bobs and what have you, coarse tackle, yeah, just for the old noddy fishing and what have you. So that can go there. A couple of method feeders. And there's some bat leads in there as well. Yeah, they're all chucked in there. So that little lot can go back away. And we've got the two side pouches and of course main compartment. Let's have a turn and ooch. So in this side. There's a bit of bait. Well, actually, there is a uh, what do you call it? PVA tube, PVA nano mesh, and I bust that last night making some stick bags. So I've manufactured a little, yeah, to go in with it. That can stay in there because it's still broken. Just a bit of bait, bit of glug as you see, some pop ups. Bit more juice, and uh, basically just a few more bits of bobs and pop ups, uh, and a bag. Which I haven't a clue what's in it because I've only just found this. Uh, oh, that had some. That actually had some pellets in it, and the bag was burst. So I shove it in that bag so they didn't fall everywhere. That was from the video up at the on and on Noddy Lake when we were shooting up in York or wherever it was we was. So that's that one. So a bit of bait, and again I can change that. Yeah, it's just a few extras, fucking loads of bait at home, just shoved a few in. Yeah, but this one was aimed at fruity, coconut, pineapple. Happy days. Right. That one's a bit of a stinker, hemp cheese, hemp and cheesy garlic. Yeah, I thought I'd put a couple of stinkers in there in case I needed a stinker. Yeah, yeah. Now I'll just wrap them in my socks for a few weeks, that'll sort it out, won't it? Right, let's have a look at the next pouch. Pack this lot away, have a look at the next one. What a side pouch, then we've got a couple of twanger pulps, just in case we do any of that fancy fishing. Yeah. A couple of rig boards, which are a load of rigs in. Shit load of rigs in. Yeah. What else have we got in here? Oh. A couple of two rod buzz bars. And one pretend carbon stick. And just a couple of bits of rig foam. Happy days. So that's that actually. Not much in that side pouch, but don't need much. So that's that little lot. Main compartment. Happy days. Need some more elastic for that. Those perished. Or perishing. They're on the way out. That's that little one dub. Main compartment. 
So in the main compartment, I've purposely left a bit of room for the Trangia cooking stove and a little bit of food and maybe a water bottle and a bit of brew kit. Yeah. If we travel any great distance, like 100 yards down that bank. Yeah. So there's a little bit of room left in there, just for some extras. Yeah, like food and water and cooking shit. Yeah. Right. Go in there, a little bit of bait. Obviously, the uh, stuff I've been using this weekend, wherever it's gone. Yeah. So, just a bit of bait there, a bit of ground bait, a bit of pellet. Okie dokie. Oh, the bag, which is just a little NGT bag for the alarms. And bank sticks, obviously I've got a three rod set up. That's the green one. Of course. Yep. So that's rods, bank sticks and alarms. We've got in here. A couple of Rapalas, discontinues, Risso wraps. And I haven't even checked what's in this actually, so we'll have a look now, shall we, see what's in it. Oh, some more Rapalas and spinners and lures. Just in case. Yeah, there could be. All oh, right, it's full of pike this place, so we'll turn one of me cart rods into a spinning rod. So we've got some there, just in case I fancy a bit of pike fishing, which I haven't done much of this year. And in this, there's some spare batteries, for alarms, a spare alarm, so I could have a three rod set up if I wanted to. That is just a, from old school, yesteryear, a little Fox Mini Micron. They're going for the fortune now, actually. I've got a couple of them from years ago. I think I got them before I even went to Sweden. So, the 1990s them. Okay, what else have we got in here? Oh, a couple of stage stands. Yeah. Some connectors for the alarms and some other connectors and some more stage stands and more of the gubbins and I don't know what's in this. Oh, I've just put some off the spiky bits. That's in there. So I've got a spare alarm if I decide to use three. That's that. Then we've got the old tackle box. Got to take a tackle box. Little mini NGT thing. Oh, I'll have to stand up with that. That's the second leads are in there as well, little array of leads. Yeah, obviously some hook links, terminal tackle, hooks, bit of corn, bit of this, bit of that. Yeah, to make all different kinds of rigs, if I choose to. But I've already got a rig board full, but there we go. And then last but not least, another little bait pot with just some baits in but I can always take that out if I wanted to because I've got baits but just some more hook baits really and those that you've seen in previous carp fishing videos they're all very strong uh, food flavours just a dab you know for that little bit of added extra extraction yeah I haven't used these this weekend happy days so that's a lot that is empty now and if you're fishing places like this, guys, yeah, if, um, you know, it's very slow, it's winter, it's very slow, you know it's going to be very slow, you could use the, the rucksack you've got and you can have it as a hat, like that, and you can walk around with your rucksack on top of your head and it keeps your head warm, yeah, plus your little bit of camouflage from the fish as well. Tips, tricks. And Andy loves buds. And you got this little bit that pulls down on the front just in case they tell you you've got to wear a mask. Right then. So uh, I reckon before we pop smoke and bug out, we'll have a little look at that car basher tarp, awning, setup, accommodation, sleeping unit, cooking uh, state, whatever you want to call it. Okay, you know, that comes off the side of the car there. And it all fits into this little bag. It is a Crane Aldi tackle bag. Yeah. So there's a few bits and bobs in the top I've got there. That's just a pair of gloves, some paracord, bit of tape, electrical tape, 
bit of camo tape, just some webbing, old webbing I've pulled out of a bin, two little rod rest heads, extras, a lighter and a thermal blanket for some reason, but never mind. Okie dokie. Right, so that's in the top, and then in the main compartment, of course, is all the uh, the tarp in it. So I've got the tarp, that is a uh, DD Coyote Brown, 3.5 metres by 2.4, so it's 2.4 length of the vehicle and 3.5 outwards. Okay, th these are quite good actually, lads, DD tarps, DD hammocks. Yeah, they've got loads of tying off points. Yeah, very lightweight and compact, and you can use them for carp fishing. Sling them up to cook under if it's pissing it down. If you've got a couple of trees and you know how to put ridge lines up and all the fancy knots that go with it. We've got a little bag of bungees. Yeah, the shed loads of bungees in there. Yeah, but I keep a load in there because then I keep them all together. I know where they are. I need to nick some out of there for some other reasons. It's all different lengths of bungees. We've got some NGT bivy pegs some uh, them ball bungees load of them because they're what we use with it but these are for tying these together I've got a load of cable ties because that's what attaches it to the roof bars and that's just the uh, guy lines and pegs that come with the tarp they're a bit crap to be honest lads they're just cheap nasty shite but uh, obviously I use other stuff but I keep them in there and it's all kept together but here's some spares if I need it okie dokie so that all fits in there pegs cable size quite strong ones and quite long these are white ones I've got some black ones in there That fits in there, the bungees go in there, the tarp goes on top, and that's it. Happy days, ready to go. In the front pouch is all the little technical bits. Okay, so I've got a couple of extra guy lines with tensioners on. There's two attached to the tarp. I've got some spares and some links. Some spare tensioners and links. I've got a selection of S hooks. And I've got a couple more uh, rod rest heads from these. There's two already on there, as you can see. Yeah. So that's the little front pouch. And they're just them bits that go in there. So that's that. Happy days, winner, winner, chicken dinner. So that's the bag done. Yeah. And then, of course, we've got the main pole that runs along the roof bar of the vehicle, the car, the battle bus. Yeah. And that screws together into that little spigot. There's some couple of storm poles. They just happen to be Nash storm poles. I was given them, I didn't buy them. And, of course, a couple of rod rest heads on the top, stainless ones, because, of course, they're going to get wet, aren't they? Yeah. Yep, and they hold the side up, and then there's a couple of spares there I bought from uh, Decathlon. Yeah, 122 centimetre. Yeah, happy days. Telescopic. Again, I bought them for the sidebars, but I've got a couple of uh, Nosh ones there, don't I? Yeah, they were 3.99. 3.99 from Decathlon lads. Yeah, and them tarps. They're about 35 quid, 40 quid. You can get different sizes though. You can get 2.4 by 3.5. You can get 3 metres by 3 metres, so 10 foot by 10 foot. You can get 3.5 metres by 3.5 metres. You can get 4 metres by 4 metres. Some massive ones out there. But again, there's all different sizes. You can ta tailor it to your particular invention or whatever it is you're doing. Yeah, ridge line, 3 by 3, over the top. Sit underneath it, cook it, do what you want. You know, if you don't cook in your bivvy, that is. Yeah, and set the fucking thing on fire. So that lot all gets good together, slapped in the back of the old battle bus there. That stays in the battle bus. So if it's really lovely and warm, yeah, you know, like uh, Australia or somewhere nice like the Caribbean or somewhere nice and hot, you know what I mean? You can sleep outside. 
Yeah. I've got a bed in there folded up. It's not a cart bed, it's just a camp bed folded up. We'll look at that in another video because now, yeah, my back and legs are absolutely foo bad. So sleeping on the floor is quite difficult for me these days. Yeah, I don't have as much fun as I used to sleeping on the floor because I'm in pain and I wake up like an old fucking man like that. Uh, and crying like a little girl. So I've got a bed that. That'll come out later. Yeah, I use a bed. Because if you've got a bed, it's not bushcraft, is it? Right, so that's it. <coughs> that little lot. Is the uh, the car tarp, basher, awning, cooking station. Right, that's it. Let's get back to some fishing. Not much going on there, actually. Yeah. I reckon I'm going to have them batteries in them Delkins for another 11 years. Probably. Right, packs away, that is the carp gear, that is the fishing gear, so now I can just chuck it in the back of the battle bus and go fishing if I want to, because everything else is in there anyway. Yeah, so if I want to go fishing, fishing gear then and jobs are good. Yeah, as I said, like last time guys, we've had 86 carp, but unfortunately the batteries died on the camera, didn't it? Yeah, 86 times. Yeah, so we didn't get any footage unfortunately, but maybe next time. Yeah, well that's it. Another day, another dollar. Right, I'm gonna pop smoke before Digger Dan turns up and wrecks everything. <laughs> Enter stage right, I'm just going to get my dumper. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs>